Imagine coming in somebody's house, right, and seeing a whole bunch of floating balls and you don't know what's going on. Like, them spheres are under this certain guy's control and they all could attack you at the same time. And this guy named Mr. Terrific, Olympic decathlon gold winner, holds PhDs in physics, engineering, and a dozen other studies. He sold his self-made cyberware company to Wayne Tech and retired from the corporate world, driven to heroism by the untimely death of his wife and etc. Mr. Terrific. Other than the fact that he's an Olympic level athlete, a millionaire many times over, and he's a superhero, by the time he was six, he had read and assimilated the works of all the major geniuses, including Einstein, Planck, the pantheon of theoretical physicists. While other children struggle through Sesame Street, I learned that time and space are merely a series of shifting coordinates and a grander continuum. They are relative to the observer with his theory of relativity. So he was kind of just gifted when it comes to intellect above his time for everybody else. Mr. Terrific. Imagine being so smart, that's Mr. Terrific for you, even if he gets his intelligence took away, he could teach himself how to be as great as he once was when it comes to this super intelligence all over again, that's Mr. Terrific for you. Mr. Terrific is a guy that's called the third smartest man in the world. When they was voting for a chairman of the JSA, he was voted even though he wasn't supposed to be an option and let you know people really respect him. Michael Holtz was one of those brainiac type characters that was blessed with a decent amount of intellect. Just like in real life, there are some people that are just smarter or have a greater knowledge than the average human. That's kind of what he is. Before he became a superhero, he already had 14 PhDs. So yeah, he's pretty freaking smart. Mr. Terrific. Before he even became Mr. Terrific. But of course, being a superhero, you can't be a superhero without a tragic backstory. He was going through a midlife crisis, basically, and was even debating on ending himself. But he actually is one of those few characters that had an encounters with the specter himself god's wrath he even talks about his life story here how his wife is dead car accident just tore her out of my life with no warning all the things i've done with my life the money i made the achievements in sports and science all the stuff he's accomplished they're nothing without her i don't know why i should leave by the way there was another guy known as mr terrific this isn't the first mr terrific but i would say he's definitely the most famous mr terrific he went through some bull crap too this guy named terry sloan his solution was to create a costume identity like the other mystery men of the day and show these kids their hero had feet of clay. He called himself Mr. Terrific and he made himself claim for a long time he was a member of the Justice Society like me after the war though. He just sort of dropped out of the hero racket, but he would come back from the annual get togethers for the Justice League and Justice Society here and there. But this version of Mr. Terrific ended up dying, had a full blown pep talk with the Spectre. The other Mr. Terrific got killed by this guy as the spirit known as the Spirit King. He would take over people's bodies and control them. The mystery behind his mysterious death even took control of other members like Jay Garrett. So yeah, they pretty much tell you about the Justice Society adventure and show it panel for panel when the Spectre telling about the former Mr. Terrific. This was basically the stepping stone to help inspire Michael Holt to become the new Mr. Terrific, use his brain for good and not to just off himself, but to do some good with the pain that he has and to maybe help other people, I guess. He needs to fill a void, maybe help some folks on the street level. And that's when he officially called Mr. Terrific. Pretty cool, right? I like basketball my self one of his main forms of combat is the t-mask or one can say technology it gives him information on things he automatically looks at kind of like a ui like a battle suit would do like on some iron man type stuff he can do some stuff like attached to his skin thanks to microscopic nanites attaching it to his skin it can interface with other masks like dr midnight mask can use his mask to broadcast on every tv and radio in the world to get your attention he has great talent when it comes to invisible to technology type stuff. My night vision lenses are actually having trouble picking him up. Can barely see his outline. Heck, he's one of the few people that's invisible to brother eye, which is an all-seeing artificial intelligence that orbits the earth. Invisible to technology, I can't be seen, heard, or recorded by machines. Even artificial type of stuff can't get a lock on him. Searching for target, they can't see him, even if they're staring directly at him. Can even expand his cloaking field so he can help out his teammates near the vicinity. Then he has this piece of tech called T-Spears. These T-Spears he can use offensively in combat and use lasers. Can even use them for explosive type of power to split these two powerhouses up. Captain Marvel and Black Adam. They can accelerate upwards at 14 miles per second. Which means these T-Spears can move 65 times the speed of sound. Speed. They're kind of alive or second sight. They can warn them of danger that's incoming. He can make you inhale cellulose particles with his T-Spheres surrounding you. Raw energy. The raw energy his T-Spheres can put out. That doesn't change the fact he can output 18 terajoules. 63 terajoules was the energy released by the atomic bomb exploded over Hiroshima. And he produced 18 terajoules. 
produce enough energy to wipe out a town or one could say one third of the raw energy of a nuclear bomb dropped over Hiroshima and he got stuff like this and these little small ball tea spears he can have a whole island float using his T-sphere technology. Yeah, so his T-spheres are strong enough to lift up buildings if he has to. These spheres are also the reason why it helps him fly in a group with his buddies all fly together in a group. The T-spheres won't let you fall. Ride on the T-spheres like on some rocket boot type stuff. You Captain Nazi person, you gotta go. Messes him up with the T-spheres blasting them. They can hurt you even without necessarily putting out energy projection. They can just hit you like in blunt force weight. And these T-spheres can even catch him mid-fall. They can also make holograms, create hard light construct, identify DNA, analyze and solve problems who's messing up stuff. When somebody who's messing up teleporters, use the T-spheres to figure it out. Monitor emergency frequencies. The holograms are so convincing they can fool very smart people, can read energy signatures, even abnormal ones. He can give orders to his T-spheres and they understand what he's talking about, like artificial intelligence type stuff. He can tell some to stay on guard and then he can tell some to explore the area or the dimensions of this place. He can even control him with thought waves, aka telepathically. He doesn't even have to say a word out of his mouth. So when he's physically weak, he can have his spheres do literally the heavy lifting. They can also give him extra information if they learn something new. It's like literally floating computers for everything he needs. Can even make things invisible. Can use his T-spheres to talk to you if he's not physically there. Can use the T-spheres to cross-reference locations. Can use the T-spheres as like his second set of eyes. Like he can have them look over here while his back is turned. He can get a closer view like that with the T. His intelligence should not be slept on. He can copy other beings' teleporting devices. Can construct T-spheres that allow him to travel through time. Opening up wormholes randomly in the time stream. His intelligence is so crazy you don't want to play him in chess for the purpose of teaching strategy. Yeah, he's smart. Did I mention he went to college at 14? In surgery type stuff, he was able to stabilize somebody while in the middle of reading a book because he's a quick reader transferred artificial intelligence from the thinkers body into his security system they even talk about how it would take an extreme level of intelligence to transfer my essence from the thinkers cap and bod into your headquarters security system he's one of those characters i would love for him to improve my standard gear to see if there's anything i can improve on or help my gear out with like how you improve this guy's whip I mean, if he got to, he would send a message to the past through a black hole. He even breaks it down. Black holes, even microscopic ones, disrupt the space-time continuum. They almost exist out of normal time. When it comes to standard semantics, he's extra durable more than your average person, like surviving this metal bomb, for example. Super speed punches from a speedster like Jay Garrick. He's fought some zombies before. He's actually better at hand-to-hand -hand than you would expect. He even has black belts in six major martial arts disciplines, so he's no amateur. Yeah, so he's not useless without his T-sphere. Beats the crap out of some KKK members, apocalyptic thugs he can take down. He's no shy person of using hand to hand. Multiple armed guards and armed soldiers he can take out with punches. Physical seem to be better than average, like throwing somebody this far. That don't seem normal. Knockout beings that are not human in one hit can almost kill you if he doesn't control his temper. Even powerful tech suits he can punch off the mask with his punching power. Able to constantly evade alien attack. Avoiding attacks while he's under the weather where it's cold temperatures with no T-spheres. 500 foot fall straight in the snow he can survive falls like this. Pain tolerance being able to endure walking in these sub-zero temperatures. Yeah. Even attacks that break him down on a molecular level type stuff, he still has ability to fight back. Entire molecular system, he's literally tearing apart the covalent and ionic bonds which hold my cellular makeup together at atomic level. Gets away from all this BS. If folks try to make a replica of his T-sphere, he simply caught it here and beats up Joker. He's so smart that other people are being inspired by his stuff. Like how they based her cameras on his T-Sphere design. But he can reprogram it and establish a link to the central server. Even after he got his intelligence removed, he relearned his smartness all the way back up to where it used to be. Like what? The way this is explained is that it's because he wasn't born smart. At least he doesn't believe he was. No matter what brains he started off with, he only managed to enhance. Enhance them through hard work. You can't take hard work away. You can take away the results, but you can't take away the drive. That's who I am. It's who I'll always be. So let's get to work. He learned himself back up to his super smart self again. It was even dubbed that Mr. Terrific is the third smartest man in the world again. He even say he was slow for a time, but he got better, aka getting his intelligence and sharpness back. Naturally, when it comes to fighting speed, he can avoid gunfire, fast enough to react and save a kid from a high speed chase fast enough, even crazy stuff like laser fire. T-spheres that can read other technological devices. He has boom spheres that can absorb omega beams. The boom spheres invented by Mr. Terrific, a spherical boom tube 
teleports, whatever it touches, slicing through anything, even God flesh. They even go as far as saying mankind's most powerful weapon are the boom spheres. Mr. Terrific. They're the reason why Darkseid was able to get free from the center of Apocalypse. These doggone spheres can disable nukes in 42 seconds or less. With these spheres, he can use these spheres to create a gravity well by using the vehicle's kinetic energy in an equal proportion to its inertia mass. I can create a gravity well and stop our Dale with minimal effort. Can use these spheres to erase your memory. He can give you mental indigestion by overloading you with thanks to the T-Sphere. It can harvest into a focused harvest into the instantaneous feeding frenzy. It can produce a ridiculous amount of white noise, a dampening field to where your powers don't work right against this particular person or being, can detect radiation levels. They can put his mask on for him. One can say the T-Spheres and the T-Mask are like, they kind of work in tandem with one another because the T-Mask can see ultraviolet light, X-ray, gamma wave lamps, highest on the electromagnetic spectrum and etc. all the different stuff, all the different visions. These spheres can even help him resist mind control, can reboot his mind like a computer, like if his mind gets corrupted or some crap. Oh, excuse me, my mind just got corrupted. Let me just use my T-spheres and reboot it. <laughs> Man, they can even open up dimensional rifts, open up a dimensional portal to access his own private sanctum somewhere in the ninth dimension. They can also release magnetic pulses, magnetize. He basically got superpowers based on all this tech. This guy got more degrees than half the facilities of Harvard and Yale combined. This guy can make a device that can stabilize an earthquake, take out half the West Coast. He can also absorb like stuff that can produce activity to take out half of West Coast. Even release this said energy in a form like maybe of destructive capacity. Dude made a sonic black hole based on previous knowledge of the earthquake stabilizing stuff already showed you and releasing energy and etc. Create stuff that can go through fields like this if he has to. He just has plenty of examples of his intelligence. He can identify soldiers based on their fighting style, can outsmart a living computer, made his machine that allows him to travel to different universes from Earth 1 to Earth 2. Even batterings bounce off the T-spheres, he can use them as defense. Even make an oversized T-sphere that functions as a battleship and can travel faster than the speed of light, like a literal spaceship, like on some Star Wars stuff. Building a new T-sphere that had so much power that the slightest mistake could create a black hole that would consume the entire universe. Good thing he doesn't make mistakes. He can create stuff this powerful. Stuff like this he uses to travel the multiverse and stuff. He uses like interdimensional jump cores and stuff for this type of thing. People from universe to universe, in this occasion with Martian Manhunter, sending others back home to Earth-23. He has a mode where he can go in cyber mode where he can like manually traverse software. Like they're literally inside the software. This helps him bypass seemingly impossible encryptions. Like because he's literally, this is manual mode. He's a helpful asset like charging up flash of tornado here. Can create fields of energy. He can just have them speed blitz a whole bunch of soldiers before they can even know to do anything. More proof that he's undetectable to technology. Can block Bizarro's flame breath with his T-spheres. He can make hologram decoys. Computer viruses beware. He even has special variation of the T-sphere. That's called the T-infinity. It can split reality into multiple possible branches. The branches have proven more durable than I expect. It's kind of like a way of deducing probabilities when you absolutely have no data to go off of to give off the best possible answer without you absolutely knowing anything really relevant. Something like this. When you're trying to come up with a plan or a strategy, stuff like this will come in handy. Like it does it in a way to where it's like playing a comic panel of the possible ways stuff can happen showing the different probability which terrific shall take the lead like you see the different branches select a t-sphere and follow the page number to the chosen possibility and for god's sake his technology cannot fall into the wrong hands because if somebody stole his technology there's possible future but the t-spheres will come sentient even sapient to the point where his creation took over the world and countless planets letting you know the full potential of how dangerous he could be if he really just wanted to go straight and crazy mode can secure you in a field of energy replicating mr miracle's light platforms and making them into boots he's part of the reason why batman has such great prep is because he got stuff that he made for batman to deflect the beam's power back at him yeah he's a heavyweight based on his tech each spear teleports material to the next one creating a vicious kind of ballistic vortex of destruction i made them from a corrupted boom tube design so yeah, if you got some crazy overpowered tech laying around and he gets a hold of it, he might make something this overpowered. Like, given Mr. Terrific, new guy tech was a big mistake. This right here proves he's a powerhouse tier based on his technology, saying they have the power to kill even a god. And you know how gods are in DC, beings like Big Barda. That's why they used to free Darkseid from his chamber. And that's why they was able to absorb the Omega effect. Even build robots to fix Batman's multiple scars and wounds. He even builds a mini sun to help out his garden. So what do you think about Mr. Terrific?
Is he terrific to you after seeing all this stuff, pun intended? Or is he about as strong as you expected him to be? The way they portrayed him on CW, yeah, he definitely has a lot more to him than that. But at the end of the day, guys, all of this could be, could be just me. I think it's really cool. And, I, and somebody like this was to approach you. You wouldn't expect much if you saw some little floating balls in the air and then they come at you at 50 times the speed of sound and stuff and can blitz you before you even know what's going on. Not to mention his physicals are pretty decent himself. He knows martial arts. He's smart and you do not want prep time against this guy. And he technically should be a powerhouse just because of his tech. I mean, they said, especially with the Boom Sphere technology, he's a threat for new guy type characters. What is the limitation to this dude? Maybe we'll see in the future. But I also got to give a quick shout out to those that have took the time to donate to the channel. Helps out a lot, believe it or not. Respect Mr. Terrific. He's definitely terrific. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.